sun, sand, surf, just out your back door, could anything be better? Let's find out, shall we? I'm Jamie Lennon, a local realtor, and today we're weighing the pros and cons of living by the beach. If you're looking to buy or sell anywhere in the greater San Diego region, as always, you can call, text, or email me anytime. All my contact information can be found in the description below. Living by the beach is definitely a dream for a lot of people. There is no denying the positives. But before fully committing to this lifestyle, it's important to acknowledge and weigh all the downsides so you have the full perspective in what it's actually like living by the beach, specifically the Pacific Beach. As I would imagine living in South Florida feels a whole lot different than living in San Diego, mainly because here you gotta invest in a wetsuit. Not everyone who lives by the beach actually enjoys going in the water, but there are things aside from surfing. There's actually always going to be something to do that's by the beach because beach communities are so popular and it's where all the main attractions are gonna be. All right here. All up and down the county, along the coastline, every single town is going to have their own centralized downtown area with all the shops, restaurants, anything that you're gonna need gonna be within walking distance. And when you do live in a beach community, it's a good time to start investing into alternative transportation methods like getting a bike or getting a moped. And of course, there's gonna be other water activities like paddle boarding and kayaking. Locals also enjoy snorkeling down in La Jolla, especially during the summer months. And not only that, but catching the sunset or just sitting at the beach reading a good book, those are all things that get you out of the house and are actually really good for your health too. Which brings me to pro number two. There have been so many studies that actually show living near the beach prolongs your life and improves your health. May of 2023, there was a study published by Communications Earth and Environment in which they studied oceans across Europe and Australia to determine if there was a correlation between noticeable health benefits between living or visiting the coast. In their study, they did note that living near the coast and visiting it more often is associated with better self-reported health within those countries studied. Lead author Giger said, it is striking to see such consistent and clear patterns across all 15 countries. We also now demonstrate that everybody seems to benefit from being near the seaside, not just the wealthy. Although the associations are relatively small, living near and especially visiting the coast can still have a substantial effect on the population's health. If you would like to read the full study, I will go ahead and link that for you down below. It's one of the best places to alleviate stress and heal anxiety. It's been shown to help you sleep better, it boosts your mood, and the salt, which is going to be rich in minerals, have anti-inflammatory effects on our skin. Not to mention that just hearing the sound of the ocean can put you in a meditative state. Of course, the lifestyle also encourages spending time outside. Most people are going to be out here exercising and generally just spending more time in the sun, which does contribute to our overall well being and kind of like a stress free lifestyle. So we get it. Living here can be good for our soul, which brings me to my next point. The residents all very much have the same demeanor. They are friendly, most likely just generally happier because of where they live. Most coastal communities have a really strong sense of community. You also get to know the locals very quickly when you live here as well. You'll also notice that people just aren't really in a hurry here. They're kind of taking their time. They're, they're happy. I mean, when you live here, I think it'd be hard not to feel good most of the time. It's a natural mood enhancer. And another thing I notice is that people will say hello to you as they walk by. It goes a long way. Best sandwich in all of San Diego County. And yes, it is a hill I'm ready to die on. Generally, the community is just going to be more laid back. And I would wager that a lot of residents might even feel like they're on permanent vacation because, well, they live in a place where people come to vacation. But I will say like most things, once you get used to something, we start taking it for granted. So 
If you do live in a place where you feel fortunate enough to live, make sure you fully acknowledge your good fortune. We can get so caught up in our lives and sometimes forget to be grateful for what we have, but when we take a moment of gratitude, you'd be amazed at just how much contentment it can create. You know what they say, if something's too good to be true, it usually is. Well, let's see, shall we? When peak season hits, tourists are flocking in like seagulls on a chip. No? Man, I really thought I had that one. Oh, high tourist area and lots of traffic. The good news is that if you live here, you most likely aren't having to drive to get to the beach. So that is a positive because parking is not only tough, it's also very expensive. The influx of people during peak season will also have an effect on your local spots. So when you go to get your morning coffee, just plan for a longer wait. It's going to trickle down to everything. So your daily life can get a bit more, mm, chaotic. Everything is going to be much busier around the tourist season, but you can also look at the positive. You get the opportunity to meet cool and interesting people from all over the world. It's a good opportunity to indulge yourself in all the local happenings to increase your chances of meeting just the right person. You never know. One person can change the entire trajectory of your life. So be open and be friendly, my friends. Then there's traffic. It's busy, not a little busy, always busy. But one thing is that we get to look forward to the local summer, which is pretty much when the kids go back in school, and that's going to be September through November. Honestly, both September and October are amazing months to go hang out on the beach, so take advantage of this time. Cost for everything is higher, not just housing, everything, food, utilities, gas. I don't know if there's such thing as beach tax, but boy, do prices high up, hike up the closer you get to the coast. But yes, also housing is quite less affordable here as well. And here in San Diego, it's really good to know that there are significant price differences, whether you're looking to buy a home in La Jolla or Ocean Beach. So just understand that each beach community is not treated equal. But again, they're still going to be much more expensive than looking at real estate more inland. But there are those who are okay to sacrifice living in a smaller place near the coast that aligns with their budget more. And they'll be okay with this sacrifice because they live near the ocean. One thing to keep in mind as well is that you might be spending more for your house initially, but your home will hold its value better because of its location. And it also has the potential to appreciate more than buying something more inland. Let me ask you this. If you had $1 million to spend on a home, would you A, buy the two bedroom condo walking distance to the ocean, or B, buy the two, three, four bedroom single family home that's a 15 minute drive away? Everyone is different. Let me know, drop a comment. And for those of you that own or are looking to own a home near the coast, it's good to keep in mind the higher cost for upkeep. Mainly because being exposed to the ocean's elements can take a massive toll on your house. Salty air accelerates rust and can also cause abrasions to the paint on your home. You also have to think about beach erosion, which in San Diego, there are some areas that have experienced pretty significant deterioration along the bluffs. Also, most insurance companies don't wanna take on the increased risk that comes with insuring homes near the coast. So when you do get insurance, the homes in these areas will be hit with higher premiums to account for the increased risk. Always good to be prepared with understanding, you know, any additional potential costs associated with buying a house. So what do you think? Is living by the beach in? It really is a lifestyle. And if it's not a lifestyle that you're enamored by, then why spend the extra money? but that is my opinion and I'd love to hear yours. Hey, thanks for following along. And like I mentioned, if you are looking to buy or sell anywhere in the greater San Diego region, all my contact information can be found down below. Till next time, friends. Ah, stay classy, San Diego.